so much for coming out uh, as an ex-teacher. Uh, believe me, public support is crucial. It is absolutely crucial. I'm taught in Minnesota for 30 years after coming back from Vietnam and uh, I went through the same thing that these people in Wisconsin are going through. I was represented in my years there by the uh, Minnesota Federation of Teachers and the uh, Minnesota Education Association. If, if, uh, yeah. if uh, you know anything about uh, public employee unions, they are probably the politest unions yes. on the face of the earth. Yes, we are. And they always need the public voice behind them to uh, get anything, you know, fair at all for themselves. And uh, I, I worked in a large suburban high school district, uh, uh, school district, and uh, we had a we had a superintendent of schools that. Uh, Scott Walker reminds me very much of. In fact, uh, I think Scott Walker may have gotten a hold of his playbook somehow. This uh, guy's name was Lewis Finch, and uh, every uh, every couple of years after our negotiation sessions, we would always refer to him as the Finch that stole Christmas. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, how many of you are old enough to remember some old Bob Dylan songs? <laughs> Today, the way I feel today, one of his old songs speaks for me. My name it means nothing. My age it means less. The country I come from is called the Midwest. Now, after 30 years of teaching in Minnesota and all the, the rough and tumble negotiation sessions we had to go through. My heart goes out to those people in Wisconsin who now, who now are having to fight to save a right that we should consider ours. Yeah. <laughs> private, private sector unions have already been decimated. We're down to 7% membership nationwide.